Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Watchers Podcast with your hosts, Brad and Colson. <laughs> That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Are we square? Four tails. Oh, Jesus, you're a nutty creature. And here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Brad, here with Colson. Hello. And today we are doing a top ten. It's our Sunday, Sunday, Sunday top ten. Alright, top ten this week. Everybody, grab your tissues. Not for that. Don't be a creep. Socks are better anyway. Uh, Coulson, we're going to be talking about movies that made us sad. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm in a constant state of depression, so every movie makes me sad. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you uh, think we're going to have any of the same on this list? This one's um, definitely more open than some of ours that it we is. have. I'd be surprised if we have any. Me but too. you never know. Yeah, it could happen, yeah. but yeah, I don't think we have any. Yeah. Um, how'd you fare out making this list? Well, I did, a lot of these are true stories. Mm -hmm. Those usually bum me out yep. in one way or another for obvious reasons. I'm sure we'll discuss as we get to them. Uh, a couple animal ones, animal things always bum me out too. Yep. Um, and then a few just movies that have sad stuff in there. So that's that's kind of what I did. I think we could do more of these down the road. Yeah. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to stay to these ten. But, uh, yeah, that's that's how I made mine. How did you do yours? Yeah, kind Similar? of the same. Um, and to clarify, like... It could be one sad scene in a right. movie. Yeah, like a comedy. Certain comedies have one sad scene. That, yeah, um, that I I had one in mind that I almost made <laughs> made my list, but I didn't. But uh, yeah, yeah. Mine, um, mine specifically. Yeah, a couple. Of, I have a couple comedies in here, but yeah, there could be um, sad. Yeah, I have a few. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're number 10. Yeah, so the way, if you're first time listening, if right. you have it higher, we talk about it when we get to it. Yes. Or when it makes your list, so. My number 10 is Deepwater Horizon. Not on my list. Okay, so this is a, again, a true story. It's of the, uh, that <clears throat> fucking oil Deepwater Horizon thing that, mm. it's just, uh, I don't know, something about that. A lot of deaths there, a lot of yeah. sad shit. You're a big fan of this movie. I, I do like it. It comes the movie. up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Peter Peter Berg did he works with Mark Wahlberg mm -hmm. a lot. Um we may even see the, those two names on my list later on. Um <laughs> but yeah, this one, it's a great movie. Yeah. Well done. Uh but yeah, definitely sad. Okay. So yeah, that's my number ten. Um my number ten. The Sacrament. Okay. Ty West. <laughs> very very um, good. Yep. Um, not the whole movie, but mm -hmm. there is one scene involving a mother and child. Yeah. I know. Late into the movie that just <laughs> rips the guts out of me. Yep. Um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, number nine for me, Marley and Me. I've never seen it, and, oh, I, and I won't watch it's it. fucking horrible. I gotta tell you, Owen Wilson kills it in the movie yeah he's great um not somebody that you'd think would make you fucking tear up and cry but he kills it when he has to the dog the dog literally 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, no, it's a great, uh, you know, animals. I don't know. I got a, I got a soft spot for yeah, animals. Yeah, me too. I, most times I, like, we're, I shouldn't say we, I shouldn't group you in with me, but I'm a fucking creep. <laughs> I am laughing and cheering when people get killed in horror movies. I'm fucking super pumped. And then they'll kill an animal, and I'm like, you fucking die. <laughs> die. It just makes me so sad. Well, I've seen the way you hang out with Bruce and Susie That's around right. here, <laughs> cuddling them and baby talking My wife to them. right now is like, yes, it's, it's, it's awful. Because I, I literally take Susie, who's my Boston Terrier, and I, I just I kiss her on the cheek repeatedly, like, oh. <laughs> kiss her right on the cheek, and she just sits there and... Is very happy. My wife's watching jealousy as she's sitting across. <laughs> anyway, she's like, "I have cheeks too." <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, your number nine. My Sorry. number nine. Uh, I mixed it up a little bit. Normally, this my number one on almost every list we do. Okay. But, uh, Stand by me. Okay. Uh, just that feeling of like, man, I miss being a kid. Mm -hmm. And like hanging out with my friends in the woods, looking at dead bodies. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> just wish I had that again. Yeah, I hear you. That's a good pick. Yeah. Uh, my number eight. I'm not sure if you've seen this yet, but it's Philadelphia. I haven't yet. Okay, no. so you got to watch this one. Yeah. I won't spoil it for you. Um, Tom Hanks, who again. Oh, by the way, when I did research for this, because I, 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 I always want to type in, I use this website called Ranker. Okay. So it's where people can vote up and down movies, right? Mm -hmm. So I type in, because I don't want to forget anything. Yep. So I type in uh, I type in the, the, the saddest movies on Ranker. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks has the first five movies. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, and five are all Tom Hanks movies. He has like... Seven in the top 20 and, like, nine in the top 50. Jeez. He is a sad fucking man. <laughs> but, yeah, Philadelphia, great movie, great soundtrack. Um, sad movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're number eight. Uh, my number eight, Marriage Story. Oh, I, this had the opposite effect. Yeah. I was angered by this one. <laughs> yeah. I do know what you're there's a specific scene in this movie yeah with um adam driver, adam driver. yeah that that i definitely get it yeah yeah he's it's, fantastic yeah and even like the start of this movie like first few minutes in where they're mm -hmm. like what do i love about her like what do i love about right. him and they're like listing all this stuff uh -huh. and then it's like oh they're getting a divorce yeah and just like oh that sucks. Yeah. I got to watch this movie again. I'm just not ready for that lawyer experience. Oh. I've never even been through a divorce. I've heard so many stories. I just fucking hate it. Um, but yeah, good pick. Coley's listening to this yeah. right now and she's like, <laughs> if you keep kissing that fucking dog. <laughs> uh, Sue's is so old. She's like 12. She can't be here forever. <laughs> get my kisses in now. Um, sorry. Number seven. <laughs> Number seven for me is Backdraft. Have you seen this oh, one? I still haven't watched this. Okay, so firefighters, uh, obviously, you know, bad shit's going to happen at some mm -hmm. point. It's got some very emotional scenes. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So it's a good watch, though. I, uh, you got to say, some of the best special effects, not even like real. If you look in the credits, uh, Baldwin, Stephen, ba Stephen, yeah, Stephen Baldwin and um, uh, Jesus. Kurt Russell. They're mm -hmm. both listed as stuntmen. <clears throat> really? Yeah, because they actually did so much that the stunt people were like, well, shit. That's crazy. <laughs> you got to get your name here. So, wow. Uh, it's worth a, worth a watch. Your uh, number seven. My number seven, Coco. Pixar movie. Uh-huh. Um, have you seen this? I have. Okay. I was going to ask you if you were going to have, if you if, if you had any animation. Yeah. So, um, you don't have to spoil any more if you do, but yeah, I have one more. Okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, this one, the end, mm -hmm. where he's with his grandmother, is just super sad. It has that Disney thing before Pixar, so you know something. Most likely, you shouldn't say you know mm -hmm. something sad's going to be in there. Yeah, Pixar does a really good job of messing with your emotions. They too. do. Yeah, like they got a. I could have done half my list with. Pixar movies definitely could, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a hundred percent true. Uh, my number six is Castaway. 
Ooh, another Tom Hanks. Yeah, who would have thought that him fucking trying to get a stupid volleyball <laughs> would make grown men cry? <laughs> uh, little quick story. When we when this movie came out in 2000, I think it was 2000, I said, hey, to my parents, like, you guys should watch this movie. And my dad's response was, it's him talking to a volleyball for two hours. Who gives a shit? So we ended up going to the movie. Who's crying? When he's fucking crying for Wilson, yeah. my dad is bawling. So how about you shut the fuck up and, you know, just sit and watch the movie. Because Tom Hanks can kill it. He's, yeah. you know, he's one of the best. So. Exactly. Uh, you're number six. My number six, uh, not quite as a cinematic masterpiece as uh, Castaway. Right. I guess depending on who you ask, because I'd probably prefer watching this one. Shaun of the Dead. Oh, good pick. Yeah. Um, there's some sad stuff that happens in this movie, uh, with him and his mom. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead, just go watch it. Yeah. I don't want to give it away because it's, it's great. Everything yep. about this movie is great. No, I agree. Uh, my number five, I believe you <clears throat> still haven't seen. It is still Alice. Right. Julianne Moore. I forgot about this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to say anything other yeah. than... Julianne Moore won an Oscar for this, but people need to focus on a specific scene with Alec Baldwin. Okay. Excellent. And I want you to watch this one because I know that you'll love it, but uh, we'll get there. I'm sure at some point yeah. you'll, you'll you'll eventually get to it. I will. But yeah, still Al's fantastic movie. Very sad. Uh, you're number five. My number five. Um, one I don't really have to explain too much. Schindler's List. Mm-hmm. It's just a depressing yeah, very. run from start to finish. Very much so. Uh, well, I guess not the finish. It, yeah. Well, <laughs> well still yeah, a little bit. It still there. gets kind of shitty yeah. with the tombstone. Or That's whatever. right. Um, yeah. Schindler's List. Okay. Uh, fantastic movie. But yeah. if you're having a great day, maybe don't <laughs> plop down in front of the TV to watch this one. That's right. Uh, my number four, My Dog Skip. Oh, Have man. you seen this movie? It's got Frankie Muniz, oh, wait, Ma Malcolm I... in the Middle. Yes. The little Jack Russell Terrier. I, I forgot all about this movie existing. Jesus Christ, yeah. this movie is oh, it's so sad. Yeah. There's a scene where he, uh, he hits the dog with his baseball glove and it yelps and it runs away. Yeah. Oh, is that heartbreaking. And then later on what happens is just like, oh man, again, animals and dogs specifically. Yeah. I get sad. Um, yeah, you're number four. Uh, my number four is one that I missed the boat on whenever we were doing a list of books. Okay. Um, or movies that are based, based on, books, on books, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and another one where it's a kid's movie and you're like, wow, this is great. Like, yeah, this is so much fun. And then all of a sudden you're like. What the fuck? Uh huh. Uh, Bridge to Terabithia. Right. It is brutal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the movie. I've seen it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. It's a it's a hard one in yeah. spots. Yeah. <laughs> Good pick. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, my number three, another firefighter movie. This one based off of a true story called Only the Brave. Oh, I thought it was going to be that John Cena playing with fire. Nickelodeon movie that just came out. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only the Brave is, uh, they call those people, um, the guys who go in, basically right into the forest fires. Oh, they, yeah. They, in planes, too, I think. Yeah. They, they're those fuckers who jump out of the plane and start clearing brush. Yeah. A horrendous job. Their protection is essentially what looks like a baked potato, you know, the foil. Yeah. Yeah. If it comes, if the wind changes or whatever, that's what they have have for protection is to get zipped up into these things. It's awful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great movie, though. Very well done. So that's my number three. Um, my number three is Up. Okay. Another Pixar one. Yeah. Um, mostly just the first five, five ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah that, that movie sets up pretty quick yeah it goes uh yeah you learn a lot yeah <laughs> especially if you're a kid in the first 10 minutes of this movie definitely um i will say though this one gets a lot of love 
And I think it's because of that first 10 minutes. Right. Because the rest of the movie's kind of boring. I would agree with that. After the house lifts off uh-huh. and they land in Paradise Falls or whatever. Yeah. I, the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I'm bored. Yep. I, it just takes a turn. I agree. This one doesn't sit high on my list, but I, I do love the opening scene. But I will say, it goes from sad to hilarious when he whacks that guy with his cane. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. He gives that guy a good wallop. <laughs> yep. There's blood and There's everything. There's blood, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, good pick. Thanks. Your number two. My number two, uh, Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg once again in Patriot's Day. Oh, okay. Um, this one, when we watched it the first time, if you don't know what happened... It's it's a real story, the bombing in Boston. Um, oh, yes, right. A child died that day, and I'm going to spoil the ending of the... They, they, they always do this in these movies. They show the picture of the real people. They go through... I think there was like four or five people who died at the bombing, mm-hmm. and then a police officer died uh, later that day or the next day or whatever. Yep. They show the pictures of the old, the the adults, mm-hmm. and then the and then they go to the cop, but they hadn't shown the picture of the child yet, and I was like, oh shit, they're gonna show the child oh. at the end, and they do, and you just it, it's the kid's like eight years old, yeah, and that fucking piece of shit put that thing there knowing that he was right there. <sighs> I mean, it's heartbreaking, yeah, and infuriating, infuriating, yeah. So, uh, Patriot's Day. Yeah, great movie, though. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to watch that now. Yeah. <laughs> I probably turned a few people off. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah. My, my number two, uh, also based on a true story. Okay. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking knew you were going to have this. <laughs> I knew it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be Infinity War or this one. Yeah. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but Infinity War is when they start disappearing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that didn't affect me as much as okay. a lot of people. Uh, Endgame, there's a few scenes in this one. Right. Like the opening with uh, Hawkeye, and he's just out of nowhere. His family's gone. He yeah. doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Right. Uh, the part with Thor talking to his mom. Right. And it's just like... Why are you so bummed out? And he's like, this is the day she dies. Yeah. It's just like, ugh. Like, <laughs> Pulling those heartstrings. Yeah, it's a rough one for oh, me. Oh, boy. Um, but then there's like some happy stuff in this one that yeah. balances it out and makes yeah. it all good and there fun. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, good pick. Thanks. Your okay. number one. <laughs> My number one is Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like uh, war movies. War, war, World War Two. True story. Yeah. I... I this is the most fascinating story I've ever heard in my entire life based on war. Yeah. If you don't know it, look it up. Mel Gibson directed it. Uh, Andrew Garfield stars. It's f- the best fucking war movie ever made. Yeah. I love it. And it is sad. <laughs> it's, it's war. Yeah. And there's sad shit happens. So. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard of a happy war exactly. yet. Exactly. So. <laughs> uh, you're number one. Uh, my number one, Big Fish. Okay. <laughs> Yep. I have to rewatch. You do. I remember not liking it, but it has been 20 years probably. Yeah. 15, 20 years. So. The last few minutes of this movie, mm-hmm. um, even just throughout the movie watching this guy talking to his dad right. and realizing that his dad's going to die uh-huh. basically any time now. Yeah. And he's just kind of dealing with that and like when it eventually happens, it's yeah. pretty sad. Um, I hear you. Yeah, that's. Before we sign off here, do you cry in movies? Do you openly cry? Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah. My wife is constantly making fun of me. Okay, she's like no heart from uh, Care Bears, right? <laughs> and whenever something sad happens, like yeah. she'll look over and I'll have tears. But you uh, just let them flow. Yeah, I'm just like I can't help it. <laughs> it's like that's it's you. sad. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with crying. If you're no. a guy listening to this. If you have emotions, let them out. Yeah, if you yeah. want to be weak, just let them out like Brad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I I get the feeling, but I, I don't know. I get this weird, like, the roof of my mouth just needs to be pushed on by my tongue. Yeah. So I don't cry. I'll but start being like... <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> 
It's yeah. like fucking dusty in here. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. So that'll do it for this episode. Uh, let us know in the comments. Movies that make you sad. Mm-hmm. Give us one. You can give us 10, 5, 50, however many movies you want. Yeah. Um, we're just curious of your guys' opinions. Yeah. Uh, this will do it for this week. Uh, we'll be back next week with something a little bit different. Bye.